What's going on guys? Welcome back for another episode of Too Many Toys Jake. Today is going to be kind of a weird one. Uh, I got a call from a friend that said uh, they got a house out in the boonies. They said they wanted to give away. So okay. He said, uh, just come take a look at it. Tell me what you think. He's like, if you want the house, it's yours. Free. Free of charge. Uh, no bills. Nice out in the land. So you can take it. So right away, so I don't see it. I was like, sure, I'll take it. Free house. I mean, how can you complain, right? But when I showed up, I don't think he was meaning about that house. He never said anything about a house on wheels. So when I showed up, this is what he meant. <laughs> Great, I know. I already said I was gonna take it. So this is what I'm told is a big piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna try and get it going today so make sure you watch till the end and see if we can get it going if you like my videos give me a thumbs up guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button what's keeping you we're gonna see some cool and different stuff just like this guy right here so let's take a tour and see what we got all right so what i'm being told by the old owner that this is a 1980 i believe a Sheafton 22 this will be 22 feet long it's got a 454 big block in it that we're going to try to get running today. It's been sitting for, I'm being told, tw or 10 years. Who knows how much longer than that. Let's take a look at the old license plate here in the back. Yep, 12. So about 10 years it's been off the road. Now, it looks okay from the outside. The paint's not too bad. It was actually a looks like a clown some sort of clown company's vehicle maybe to go to shows or stuff like that i'm not too sure he bought it and he was going to do something with it never ended up doing anything with it so i just sat here but the inside is rough let me tell you rough so we're going to see if we can get this bad boy going today let's take a look on the inside actually you know what first let's take a look on the outside and see what we got so from the outside it doesn't look too bad the roof you can't really see it but the side panels are okay it actually looks like it was shining up not too bad all of these are all just stickers so if you wanted to you could probably take all this stuff off and just have it a couple colors it is a little bit of rust in the door here which i mean is common with this thing especially for sitting for so long all the windows look good so from the outside it looks like a decent truck. It looks like a decent or a, a decent motorhome. When I first showed up and seen it, I was like, oh wow, this is not gonna be too bad. It's like, oh, maybe I can, you know, get it running, do a couple of things on the inside, and maybe take it out some places. But then I opened the door on the inside. Let's take a look. This is what we're dealing with, guys. So it looks like this thing has a mass amount of water damage the roof whew, the roof is just absolutely shot so i believe they were going to turn this into some sort of fish fry truck or some sort of uh chip truck or food truck i guess but then realized that when they got it back it was just way too where it's way too bad to get into they started tearing everything down <clears throat> oh the smell in here guys oh they started tearing everything down and then realized they don't want to do it anymore. So here it sits. They will have to get rid of it. The property, this is actually abandoned property right now. The homeowner sold the home to a developing company and the developing company is coming in and demolishing the home in a week. So I don't have very long to get this thing out of here. So we're going to see what we can do. But as you can see, it is a mess. Just an absolute mess. What we have here is the whole reason I kind of wanted this thing. It is, you guys can't see it, but it is a 454 big block. Um, it does have an ATI on it, so hopefully it should be a little bit easier to start. It's got a, looks like it's got an old Rochester carb on there. Those are usually pretty good. Something was making a home in there. So we'll have to clean that all up. I'm not too sure if this thing 
turns over if it moves they said they bought it not running so we'll see how that goes i think that i think what i'm gonna do is just do the check the oil do a couple little things throw a battery in it and then we'll see if we can just get it to crank or if it even has power because with this much damage in the back who knows if all the wiring is good and such so let's just take a look quickly and see what we got all right so we got the air cleaner off look what i found big dirty mouse nest so thank god that was on there else uh, all that would have been down in the carburetor so just looks like a your stock factory uh 454 doesn't seem like it has anything uh, aftermarket on it the truck itself has 67,000 original kilometers on it so it's just a low kilometer 454 another reason i want it and it being an 80 it should have decent compression we got a clarion sound system in there all the old school gauges it's actually pretty cool so all right the first thing we're gonna do is i guess check for oil see if it has oil in it i guess you check that from the front you guys ready to see the hood on this dun, 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 dun. and the hood is open <laughs> i guess this is where you check everything you got your power steering i'm gonna guess maybe oil fill yeah it's probably oil fill and then looks like your dipstick which is going to be 20 feet long holy moly holy shit guys look at the size of this look at the size of this guy it's almost as tall as i am this has got to be this has got to be five feet tall close to it if not taller holy shit so anyways i'm getting past it and we have oil we have oil it doesn't seem too bad it seems pretty clean so that is good that's a good sign that means the motor hopefully isn't stuck with it being sitting for 10 years i'm just assuming that it was parked and it was running and the reason they stopped driving it was because the inside was so messed up or the roof started going so hopefully this thing doesn't need too much to, to turn over so i guess let's go for a walk and let's try to find the battery let's see what we got here Oh, that was quick. Found it already. So I assume there's supposed to be two batteries in here. Great. Hopefully just the one works. Let's see. So I'm going to try and get that battery in right now. And we'll go from there. So we got this never start battery. We're going to try putting her in. Let's see what happens. Even got this lovely little tray that comes out. So we're gonna put that guy on there like this. Put that guy on there like that. Now, I guess let's see if there's let's see if there's any power or what's going on. Don't hear anything, don't see anything. Oh, we got a little bit of power, look at that. There's lights. That's good. That's a good sign. Oh, we got one light. That's a good sign. Woo! Let's uh, let's give it a little crank. Shh, don't tell anybody. Let's give it a little crank and see what happens. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, guys. That's what I thought. So it took a little bit to figure out what's going on. I should have known this is my second motor home. Shit one. And usually they have a push button start because something goes wrong with the key. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out where that button is. And didn't even realize it was right beside it. 
Uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Let's turn the key on. Get that button to push. And she turns. Yes. So that's a start. That's a start. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some starting fluid down it just to see if it makes any noise. And if it makes noise, we will take off the line to going to the carburetor to see if the fuel pump is working. If not, I can make a makeshift one and we'll go from there. So let's, uh, let's spray some fuel down the carb and see what happens. So we figured out that problem. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some uh, just clean start, some starting fluid in it, just to see if it barks off. I'm gonna take off the line going to the carburetor and then turning it over to see if any fuel comes back. It says that the tank is empty, so when you never know, but we're gonna see if that fuel pump works. But first, let's spray some fluid in it and see what happens. Been a little while so we'll put a bunch we'll put a bunch Woo. that's good the shit out of me we'll give it a few pumps and we'll so here we go we'll see what happens oh she wants to oh she wants to guys that's a good sign give it a couple more let's see what we got well guys at least we know that it turns over now and it wants to fire we know that the ignition system is good these HEIs are usually pretty good so that's good to go number one as you can see on my finger number one so number two is let's clean some of this shit up get a nicer working environment here and then we'll take off that fuel line going to the carburetor and then we will see uh, if that fuel pump is working and then if it's pumping out any fuel so we'll actually know what we're gonna do first we'll uh, we'll fill up these bowls we'll see if it runs for a couple minutes or a couple seconds and then we'll go from there so what we're gonna do so we're gonna take a bottle with some fuel in it you're gonna cut a little hole in the top of it like that and we're gonna put some fuel right down into the bowls as you can see that's not going very well so now that the whole area is nice and full of gas we'll start her up see what happens just make sure when you're doing this you leave your whatever you're using for gas outside so that it doesn't uh blow up in here so we got that we'll give her a few pumps we'll see if she starts Woo! there you have it she's a runner oh i have to shit my face though but she's a runner guys let's see if she starts up again We'll save on that battery, but all right. So that's a big positive step forward, guys. So now what we'll do is we'll start cleaning everything up and we'll see if we can get it to run. So now that we know it's a runner, I'm going to start uh, cleaning everything up just so I have a little better work environment. Because right now, if we're honest, there's a dead fucking bird on the dash. So that's the work environment I'm working on right now. So I'm going to clean up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to clean up all this pile of shit right here. Just throw it outside for now because they're gonna end up cleaning everything up when they tear the house down that's here and then we're gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit because as you can see there's a nice nest there so that needs to be done as well so we're gonna do that right now and then we'll move on from there <laughs>
clean all this stuff up, make it look a little better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take off this piece here. I'm just gonna cut it. I think all it is is just lines that go down to the header there and then heats this up so it's easier starts in the winter time, kind of like what the Mazda had. So I'm just gonna cut these off. Okay, that only took way too long, so that's off. Throw that in the pile with everything else. And we need it, so let's have a look what we got. All right, not too bad. As you can see, the mice did make their home here, or rats, whatever. I will say one thing though, it is a, uh, it is a windy day outside and it is a kind of a shitty day, but it is nice to be working inside on a motor. Normally, I don't get that kind of pleasure. Whew. And by the way, guys, there's no air here. There's no nothing, no air, no uh, power. They actually uh, took down the transformer on this place because they're going to tear it down, like I said. So there's no power here or else I could get out the air blower or something and try and clean all this up. <sighs> okay, so that's kind of clean-ish, we'll say. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this line off here and then we are going to see if fuel comes out here. Now I seen a electric fuel pump over there, down there somewhere but the lines have been cut off of it and there's no wiring. I'm hoping that somebody ran um, ran the mechanical fuel pump or it's still there. If not, I brought another fuel pump, so that won't be too much of an issue. All right guys, so we're gonna take this off now. Or we're gonna try to, because apparently it doesn't wanna move. It just wants to move in here. And the rubber line goes down there. Okay, so apparently we're not gonna do that. Actually, you know, let's see if we got something big enough to hold it. Let's try this again. Nope. 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 All right, guys, so that's not going to work there. All right, so we're gonna leave this one, guys. We're just gonna trust what's in the tank. Unfortunately, it's a hard line all the way down. Usually it's a soft line. So we're gonna try and put some fuel in the tank and we'll see what happens. We found where the fuel is. So I figured, uh, let's try the key first. The key didn't work. And then I realized it just falls right off. So that is where we're gonna put some fuel in it. Give her the old. Oh yeah. Oh, that's complete varnish. This should mix well. So I brought about 10, 10 liters for you Canadian folks. 10 liters of fuel, some octane booster. We're gonna pour it in, turn it over a bunch and see if the fuel pump works. And then if not, we'll go from there. Now we got some fuel in the tank. We're gonna try and get some fuel up with the help of the mechanical fuel pump 
hopefully there's not a lot of crud in the tank and we can actually get this thing rolling so let's give her a shot i've already cranked it over a little bit so if it starts we'll see i hope it does but you never know all right guys so crank it over oh no way no and just like that she fired right up that's unreal she refers like a freaking kitten no noises no nothing see guys this thing is purring like a kitten she sounds great she sounds nice and smooth there's a little bit of smoke but what do you expect for sitting for 10 years i can't believe it's actually sitting here idling i mean it looks like we might be leaking a little bit of oil or something like that so we're gonna turn her off Woo! lots of smoke Whew, lots of smoke guys i think there's uh whew, whew. i think there's a little bit of oil spill or something like that maybe the exhaust is leaking hopefully she's not on fire i can't believe after 10 years probably more of it sitting some fuel in the gas tank some starting fluid and a new battery and it just fired right up that is unreal so i think we're gonna try and try and move it now um it's good that it runs we know that it runs that's awesome now we'll see if it moves i know this thing was towed back so we got to put an axle in it and then after we do that we can see if it moves forwards and backwards oh this thing is smoking like a like a holy moly this thing is smoking but i think it's just everything on the side of the motor after sitting so long so all right let's jump into it in order to make it move we have to put an axle in the rear end so basically this is what we're looking at here nice and simple all we're gonna do is we're gonna slide in this bad boy here like this so we got the axle in just had to play with a little bit to push it in now I'm just going to throw in all the bolts. First, before I do though, I'm going to clean them up. First, I'm going to clean them up and then we'll get them all in here. So I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I'll do that and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're going to try and move this thing for the first time in 10 years. Give or so, give or take. We don't know how long exactly it was sitting, but the plate says 12. So 10 years at least. So we're going to see if she moves. We just got the axle in. Motor's running. Last thing to do is give her a shot. All right, guys. So here we go. We'll see if she starts back up. Give her a couple pumps. All right, right up. So let's we'll see if she let's we'll see if she moves. Put on the brake. Oh, uh oh, oh, right. oh, we're moving, we're moving. We ain't got many, bro. We ain't got no brakes, but it moves. Woo! See, she goes backwards now. Alrighty, first time in ten years this thing has moved, guys. Look at us. Woo! Now I think her for a drive, but we got no brakes, sir. Barely any brakes, so. Huh? Uh, all right, let's go up and down the driveway quickly. Or go forwards and backwards. I don't really want to touch the steering wheel. Oh, we even got. Oh, Jesus! We even got power steering. I think it's got a little bit of brakes. There you go, guys. She runs and she moves. All right.
job, First dude. First time after 10 years, she's running like a charm. Yeah, good job, Charging like a kitten. All right, guys, so now we're gonna put this old girl back. guys so there you have it we got my free home running and driving so now i don't have to be worried about it if i need to take it somewhere if i want to drive it home i'm not done with this i'm going to be coming back and doing more work on it so watch for more videos but as for today it's kind of started to kind of turn into a shitty day so i'm done i just wanted to get running and driving i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it it's something a little bit different. I found it kind of fun. I don't get to work on very many of these motorhomes. So it was a good learning experience and I'm glad I got to. And I can't wait to have some more fun with it. Thank you so much, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's keeping you? You know the deal. Hit that notification bell and that subscribe button so you can see all kind of cool videos like this more often. And we'll see you on the next one. See you later, guys.